What's up everybody? I'm Shibuka, and welcome back to Distant Worlds. It's a busy time for the Distant Worlds fleet. We've visited four waypoints in four days as we prepare to say goodbye to the core. The first was the Feedplate Nebula where we set off the Roman Candle in a previous episode. Second, and quite possibly the most breathtaking I've seen is the Dreo Cree Stellar Remnant, a planetary nebula with a black hole as its entry point. The colors of this blue nebula are mesmerizing, combining with the core to create a calming pink I've never seen before. Base Camp's planetary surface is absolutely mind-blowing. The only things providing light to this planet are the core and the nebula itself and it's almost blinding at times. Hills, craters, and ridges cover the planet, almost giving it a personality of its own. I can feel a calmness overwhelm me, a feeling of warmth and cold at the same time. I don't want to leave. Our third stop is the Rose Nebula, a one-of-a-kind stellar wonder that gives everything inside an almost dreamlike effect. Overlooking the canyon that's home to Base Camp 15, there's a sense of scale that's hard to describe. The few ships congregated at Base Camp seem like nothing more than dots in the distance. Our next stop before heading out of the core is only 500 light years away, so I decided to make a stop at these closely orbiting planets. Seeing these narrow canyons, I decided to take a risk and do a little canyon diving. Speeding through these cliffs, knowing that the smallest mistake could lead to my ship exploding and in all likelihood ending my expedition only fuels my need to keep going. There's something about the risks, something about telling yourself that you're capable of coming close to death without giving in to defeat that is a perfect storm of thrilling and terrifying. Doing this after traveling over 38,000 light years just adds to the excitement. Our fourth and final stop is called the Green Crystal. At its heart is another black hole, but this one's a little different. It has no exclusion zone. This means you can get outrageously close without any danger to your ship, providing some amazing views. Base Camp is located on a planet orbiting a ringed brown dwarf nearby. Commanders are gathered on the surface, enjoying the scenery but eager to set out and leave the core. Our next waypoint is 6,000 light years away, the furthest trek between meetings thus far. This is where endurance becomes a challenge, where our determination and skill will undoubtedly be disputed. For more information on the Distant Worlds Expedition, check out the official thread on the Frontier forums. A link is in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for updates on my travels. Fly safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.